जय श्री राधे श्री वल्लभाधीश की जय सब वैष्णव को जय श्री कृष्ण कंटिन्यूइंग विथ वार्थ ऑफ सिक्सटी सेवन ऑन दिस डे डे नाइन्टी ऑफ द रीडिंग ऑफ द टू फाइव टू वैष्णव ऑफ डिसाइपल्स ऑफ श्री गोसाई जी वी आर इन द मिडल ऑफ द स्टोरी ऑफ द परोहित एंड Finally one man came and offered her 100000 rupees she asked him if she asked if she should go with him prohit asked her see why were you of little such little faith see did he not did he give you or not therefore you should see that patience bring, brings good results you just need to have strong faith now you will have no financial problems in your home do not accept even 1 rupee less than 100000 rupees do not listen to what anyone says only ever go with him who offers you this amount thereafter every night someone paid her that amount the prohit stayed there for another 8 or 10 days the king's daughter then bought a cart and hired four servants they all sat in the cart and left that place they came to the village where the younger brother was living the one with the tail less ox the brother met with his sister and the prohit he had a small amount of money saved up he bought a cart and three bulls then they all left that place together and came to the village where the elder brother was living he had amassed a large amount of wealth with this they bought horses and elephants and took employed and employed plenty of men to ride and look after them then they came back to their kingdom the elder brother and the prohit were seated on elephants the younger one rode a horse and the daughter to such in a palanquin they arrived like royalty on the way that goddess of fate appeared there in the guise of an old woman she was flitting here and there trying to get in the way of the elephant's trunk and finish herself off under the elephant's feet however the mahout stopped her saying hey old lady want to die who are you why are you getting in the way of the elephant's feet trunk and feet are you not afraid the mahout pointed to her out pointed her out to the prohit saying oh sir who is this old lady she is not afraid of death it seems she has come here with the intention of dying she keeps moving around near the elephant's trunk and feet i have told her over and over again but she neither desists nor answers me the prohit recognized who she was he halted the elephant and led her to a quiet place and asked her what is this you are doing why are you thinking of killing yourself are you not afraid then the goddess of fate said i don't mind if i die such is my troubled situation how can i go on tolerating this many many difficult and complicated situations arise but it is i who am in control and straighten them all out however you have come here and taken control and straightened me out i have never met anyone like you in all the three worlds the prohit asked sir how so the goddess of fate said how could i ever obtain elephant pearls if i do not then whatever i wrote in his fate will become false never anywhere in the three worlds have i had to change my predictions i wrote he will daily succeed in hunting one animal and the arrow that he fires at his first target will never miss you then told him not to fire a single arrow until he had found a pearl bearing elephant now how will i be able to bring such an elephant every day for the other son how can i daily bring him a tailless ox and how can i bring a lusty client with 100 1000 rupees to spend that to spend to that girl i am at a loss as to what to do but you are a devotee of the lord and i surrender at your feet please revive me bless me if it were any one but you i would find some other way give them more suffering but you are a devotee of shri hari and therefore nothing i could do would have any effect please do not be cruel please change these these their daily practices that you have set up the prohit said okay but you must promise me that when i have set them back on their rightful throne you will not put any obstacles in their way and in fact you must help them if you agree to my terms then i will agree to yours by changing their daily practices so that your word becomes true the fate goddess agreed and gave her word that they could reign and she would never put any obstacle in their way they will make sure that they reign happily the prohit said it is my shri gosaiji who sorts everything out and by his ruling everything will be fine he then sent the goddess of fate on her way bab prakash this story brings up a question the prohit had extraordinary power as has been shown in the story of the king so why did he not simply change the fate of the three from the beginning why did they have to go through so much difficulty the answer given is that yes prohit had exceptional power granted to him by the lord and he could easily have changed the fate of these three however this could only happen by the lord's direct wish the lord set up sets up the rules and is not a vision of his place to change them but prohit kept within the lord's rules and also showed his own power therefore it is seen that a devotee of shri hari has so much power that even the goddess of fate has to admit defeat before them and is afraid of them and has to ask them before taking any action On this subject Surdasji has composed one pad Rag Dhanashri 
Those to whom sh- those to whom Sham has granted but a little of his form, no one can even come near them, whether they are poor or a king. They don a tulsi necklace, wear the sacred forehead mark and sandalwood on their brows. They are embellished with the Lord's sacred symbols of conch, wheel, mace and lotus, and so cannot be denied. When the re- messenger of the God of Retribution hears them calling, they are struck with fear. The Fur- Surdas now sings... The poet Sordas now sings, I say this for your own good. Now understand and keep this thought in your very heart. The God of retribution fears the devotees of the Lord. This is true. There are none who can compare to Vaishnavas who can do as they wish. This is not surprising. Even the goddess of fate has to do as the Purohit had to do as the Purohit instructed. The Purohit then taught the king's son, From now on you must not kill any animals. You can make earthenware and painted forms of animals and do pra- target practice on those. Never kill any living being. To the second he said, From today you always, you should never sell an ox. Let them stay with you. To the daughter he said, From today on you do not have to be stubborn about earning a hundred thousand rupees. You may entertain a client who pays reasonably well. Do, however, exclude those who are poor and mean. This was his advice to the three of them. The two sons reclaimed the kingdom, took control and began to rule the kingdom. They did whatever the Purohit had told them. Then the Purohit brought Sri Gosaiji to that village and all three of them were initiated and became Vaishnavas. They were granted to Sri Takaji, whom they began to serve very nicely according to the rules of this path of grace and surrender. They followed the Purohit's instructions. In the evenings they sat with the Purohit and discussed the Lord's pastimes and sang his praises. After not too long, Sri Takuji began to grant them his direct communication. There are so many stories here. How far can we go in telling them? Through association with the Parohit, these three became the recipients of Sri Takuji's great grace. Therefore, one should always keep the company of those Vaishnavas who are close to Sri Takuji. The Parohit was very blessed disciple of Sri Gusaiji, and indeed, there is no end to his tale. Thus concludes Varta 67, the story of the Parohit family priest of King Jot Singh, although there is no end to his tale. Jai Shri Radhe, Subhashnamaka Jai Shri Krishna, Arch Kyananda Ki Jai Ho, Jai Shri Radhe.